Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to model rating system in Open Studio. To do so, I'm gonna give you two links in description below. The first link uh, talks about the active slab. What does it mean? And the principle of uh, an active slab, technological aspects, the interest, constraint, integration of heating system and associated production, as you can see here. The whole article is excellent. Once you read it, you are going to understand everything regarding the uh, active slab. So it is, we find different uh, names for uh, this uh, rating system. It is active slab, it is slab cooling, it is, it is a thermal active building system, as you can see here. So I highly recommend this article for you. We are going to understand everything regarding the active slab. The second link, as you can see here, is going to show you how to model a radiant uh, system in Open Studio here. Uh, in order to model it, you need to follow four steps. The whole process or the four steps are outlined here. The first step, as you can see here, in the construction tab, create an internal source uh, construction by dragging and dropping material objects from the right. As you can see here, drag and drop uh, order it should go from outermost layer to inmost, innermost layer. What does it mean? That you should, when you you are going to uh, put your construction internal source, you should uh, start from the outside and you make your way to the inside layer. As you can see here, the concrete, then metal packing, then concrete. Let's move to the second step. The second step should, should be done in a, a SketchUp plugin, Open Studio, as you can see here, uh, in which you are going to assign internal source construction that you created earlier to appropriate surface with radiant heating. What does it mean? That you may select the, uh, the surface uh, in which you are going to integrate your internal source construction and using an Open Studio inspector uh, from the drop down list here construction name you uh, are going to uh, use you are going to select the construction internal source let's go to the third step the third step as you can see here you may come back to your open studio to uh, in the thermal zones tab as you can see here click on the library Pull down a list to see zone HVAC equipment. In, in this step, you are going to add a, a new zone equipment right here. So from your library, uh, drag and drop uh, the appropriate region object into the zone equipment column for your zone, as you can see here. So we find mini rating systems. So here, low temperature rating variable flow you may find also low temperature radiant constant flow so choose the right and the appropriate radiant object and add it to your zone equipment let's move to the last step to the fourth step as you can see here we are always in thermal zone tab click on the name of the radiant object in order to edit the input fields which appear at the right as you can see here here you may change uh, the uh, rating system type uh, in which uh, it is located. Maybe it is located in the ceiling, it is located in the floor, or, or it is located in both of them, floor and ceiling. So you may select. Uh, and after that, don't forget to click on the chain link buttons to select the loops that radiant coils are connected to. Maybe they are connected to the uh, chilled water loop, to the, uh, the hot water loop. Uh, so here, don't forget to select here and to link it to your uh, loops. That's it, guys. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time with another uh, piece of information. Take care of yourself.